chapter 2, Mishnah 3. The Torah refers to the Paraduma as a chatas, which is a type of korban. See by Mibar, chapter 19, verse 9. Therefore, although the Paraduma is not actually a korban, many of the things that disqualify a korban also disqualify a Paraduma. The Mishnah gives examples of this. A cow that was born by means of a cesarean section, and one that was given as a payment to a harlot, and one that was exchanged for a dog, are disqualified for use as a paraduma. Since each of these animals is unfit to be a korban, it is also unfit to be a paraduma. The next Tana disagrees regarding the last two cases. Rabbi Eliezer rules that a cow paid to a harlot or exchanged for a dog is fit to be a paraduma because it is stated, You shall not bring a harlot's payment or a dog's exchange to the house of Hashem your God. Devarim chapter 23 verse 19. And this, i.e. the paradoma, does not come to the house of Hashem. When the Torah disqualifies harlot's payment and a dog's exchange, it says that they may not be brought to the house of Hashem, i.e. the base of Mikdash. The Torah thus teaches that these disqualifications apply only to korbanos, which are brought to the base of Mikdash, and not to the paradoma, whose service takes place outside the base of Mikdash. The Torah requires the paradoma to be without blemish. See Bamidbar, chapter 19, verse 2. The Mishnah states a rule defining which blemishes cause it to be disqualified. All blemishes that disqualify animals that have been consecrated as korbanos disqualify a paraduma as well. The Torah also states that the paraduma must not have been harnessed to a yoke, by Midbar there. A cow that was harnessed to a yoke or performed any other type of work is disqualified. The Mishnah teaches which types of work disqualify a paraduma. If one rode on it, leaned on it, hung from its tail and thereby crossed a river, looped the cow's leash back toward the cow and put the end of the leash upon its back, or placed his cloak on it, it becomes unfit for use as a paraduma. However, if someone tied it with a leash, or made a shoe for it so that it will not slip and injure itself, or he placed his cloak on it because he wanted to protect it from flies, it remains fit to be used as a paraduma. In these last cases, the action benefits the cow rather than a person. As such, it is not considered work that would disqualify a paraduma. The Mishnah states the general rule. This is the rule. If a cow does anything for its own need, i.e. benefit, it is valid. And if it does anything for some other need, it is invalid.